Hey everybody, welcome to easyliving.com. Now we all know we need to stretch before a workout session in the gym, but what about afterwards? Do we really need to do that? There are three reasons why you should stretch after a workout session. The first is to release lactic acid buildup in your muscles. This will help with soreness the next day. The second is to increase blood circulation. This helps with tension buildup in your muscles after a heavy gym session. The third and last reason is to increase flexibility in both your joints, your tendons, and your muscle cells after a workout. So if you're wondering what type of stretches you should do after a workout session, Christine from Fit by Five has five really unique stretches that you guys can do after a workout. So today I've put together five stretches for you to do to finish off um, any of your workouts. So it's really great just to always stretch after you finish your workout. And um, here's some, some stretches for you to do. So I'm just gonna talk, talk you through them. So we're going to start um, with the glute stretch here and a pigeon pose, okay? So you just take one, one leg forward here and you just sit into this position. If, if you can, you can take both elbows down and you're just gonna hold, breathe into these stretches, okay? Really try to direct your breath right into where you're stretching, so into your glutes here. Hold for 15 seconds and then change sides, okay? And then take the other foot forward and just have a nice glute stretch here. Relax into it. Now, if this is too tight, there's other ways to, to um, stretch your glutes. So you cross one foot over the other knee, you have to draw the knee in by lying on your back, okay? Or you can do that from a standing position as well. This, I feel like it really helps when gravity helps you to stretch. So, uh, that is the glute stretch for today. And then you're just going to lie onto your stomach here. And then one, one leg and take a quad stretch here, okay? Our quads get so tight, and many people think that, oh, I stretch my quads, they're, they're, um, they're not tight at all. They, they really get tight. And so, um, sometimes stretching when you're standing, uh, you can't really uh, get into the muscles so much. So this is a really great stretch, just to, to be on your front glutes here. And then after 15 seconds, change sides. And really try to draw your heel in into your bone and keep it nice and in line. Try not to let the leg twist side to side or anything. Keep it nice and in line. After 15 seconds or so, once you feel like the muscles are starting to release, so you really want to work on flexibility as well, just draw back into a child's pose and try to get your heel, your, uh, your bum down to your heels. Okay? And just try to keep your arms forward. This is really stretching out uh, your shoulders here and, and your back. And then, then you're going to come up to your knees and step one foot forward into a hip flexor stretch for our foot exercise here. So if this is quite tight, you can just hold it here and just tuck the hips under. Okay? This will really help to deepen. Deepen. You might even get a quad stretch here if you're quite tight. Just to add a little bit extra, you can take a back stretch here. And change sides. Okay, sink into this pose here. We're going to try to tuck the hip flexors under. And then this time take the hands back while you're in this stretch. And then stretch out your chest as well. So if you've been doing a total, a total body workout, then you're really going to want to add some upper body stretches in as well. So this is good to incorporate those. And then your last stretch is a stay hamstring stretch. So you're just going to push your hips back. And you're going to feel that nice release along the hamstrings here. If you can, take the hands down to the floor as well. And breathe in and hold. And then once that starts to release, come up. And just change sides. Okay, so you can come down. If you can, take the hands down as well. Once again, a little bit of a different position to stretch your hamstrings. This is good to keep things mixed up and keep it interesting so you don't get bored. You never want to get bored of stretching. It's so important to constantly stretch and maintain flexibility and even increase it if you're quite stiff. So those were the five suggestions by Christine. Guys, remember to stretch both before and after a workout session because of these three reasons. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And remember, it's not easy.
It's not easy living.